guys, it's Luna here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Now, my makeup is very simple and basic. It's good for going to school or going to work. You know, something simple, not too dramatic. You guys can go ahead and follow through and follow along with my makeup routine. So let's begin with the video. I already prepped and primed my face. You guys can use whatever products you guys have. For the first step of my makeup routine, I use the facial spray. And this is the Mario Bed School. Uh, I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but it looks like this. After that's dried on my face, I then go after with the Josie Moran Argan Oil. I definitely love this thing because it's oil based and it does not clog your pores whatsoever. So I have very dry skin and it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin not sponsored. I mainly use the same products but nothing really changes because girl I want to use all of it as much as I can so then I can buy new products. Okay and for the primer I use the pore minimizing the Smashbox pore minimizing primer. It's not a clear base as much as some silicone primers now, this does not add color to your skin whatsoever. It goes on like a normal primer. Moving on to the foundation, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Now, this foundation is a light to medium coverage. It's definitely buildable. Use my facial spray or a setting spray to give me... Um, more of a dewy finish. This foundation is a sheer foundation. I definitely look super yellow on camera, but in person, it matches me perfectly. You guys hear me talking about the concealer. I love using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now this is in the color Light Medium. Definitely a full coverage concealer, which is a must. And it doesn't crease under the eyes but definitely need to set under the eyes as well all right so after concealer is done I'm going to be setting it with some setting powder this is a drugstore setting powder this is the Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder in the color Scent. Then I take a beauty blender and put some on here. I love setting, oh girl. <laughs> I love setting powder because it sets all the foundation and concealer and locks it in for the whole day. Bake for a minute or two and I'll be right back. It's been like a minute. I'm going to wipe off the excess. So a tip, I don't know if you guys know this or may not know this, but if you get foundation or anywhere around your lips, take some water up cause she a smart water. It's like exfoliating and also wiping off the foundation and I love this Def and it does plump up your lips slightly not as much if you use a toothbrush like killing two birds and one stone my lips look alive now I got some color into my lips sorry I just can't stand having foundation on my lips it definitely irritates me so that's why I do this and then after that I put on some chapstick I wanted to be taking the Morphe 35F Font Frost Palette I'm gonna be taking this shade right here using my finger putting it all over the lid And also the same color that we use, I'm putting that underneath the waterline. 
For the waterline, I'm going to be taking this rose gold hard candy stroke of gorgeous eyeliner and this is a drugstore product as well now i'm going to go with some highlight using the becca champagne pop and then applying that on the brow bone and inner corner and for mascara i'm taking the l'oreal telescopic in the color black so you guys can start with the eyes like this, but I'm going to be applying some falsies. I'm going to be bronzing the face with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is the mini travel size. It comes with three, but I can't find the other two. I'm going to be taking the Sephora Blush Palette. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what's the name but it says Sephora blush palette and I'm gonna be using the same brush and applying it on the cheeks using these three shades right here and now I'm going to highlight using the Becca champagne pop as we use for the brow bone and the inner corners For the brows, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color dark brown. Now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to be doing the lips. I'm going to be taking the NARS Rikujin. Rikujin? Uh, I cannot pronounce it, but it is satin lip pencil and I'm going to be applying that all over the lips. So one last final step is setting spray. I'll be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now this setting spray will lock in all your makeup all day. This is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on that post notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you guys soon.